Paris and Mail, England International. How does that sound? Yeah, it's not too bad, mate. You know, it was a good time away, but I'm happy to be back now. And how was it all for you? How was the how was the process? How was the experience for you as a as a whole? No, it was good um, to be recognised for what I've done this season, um, and then to go over there and experience what it's like to be an international C player was good. Yeah. And talk us through the process. How did it all work with meeting up with teammates? Was it sort of like a full international experience? So on the Sunday, um, travelled up to Altrincham where the camp was held. Um, met all the boys. Met the um, the full squad really of coaches and the players. Um, then on the evening, had a meet and introduced each other early. Um, on the Monday, trained a few more meetings about how they would like us to play, how they play Wales. Um, then on the Tuesday, trained and then had the game on the evening. So the whole thing kind of crammed into those couple of days. It was pretty, pretty compact schedule for you. Yeah, 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 no, definitely. Especially with a bunch of boys who I've not come up against this season because all of them are from the National League. Um, and even them boys, majority of them didn't play together. So to fit everything in such a short, sp- uh, short period of time is tough, but 1-0, we made it happen. And as you mentioned there, I think you're the only player at this level, or certainly the only one in the National League South who, who got called up for that. So that's got to be a hell of an honour for one Yeah, the 100%. To be just called up for your national team is a great honour to play and represent the badge. So, yeah. And uh, going a little bit closer to time, uh, looking back on the South Coast, this season so far, what have you made of everything? It's been, we're nearly at the end of it now. How's it gone for you as a whole? No, it's been unbelievable. Um, we've had such a good season. Obviously, results lately haven't been going our way, but you always get these points um, and little murmurs in a season. So you've got to take it on the chin, but what is the seven games in the league left? We've just got to take what we can from it and really kick on now. There's a big one coming up on Saturday, having more Louisville, non-league fans there as well, so fingers crossed, uh, a big crowd there as well at the Woodside Road. How are you feeling going into this one? Are you, are you more confident coming up against uh, a team that's also sort of been struggling lately, or is it a bit more difficult knowing they, they might be after revenge after that 5-1 over the season? No, I, I don't. I don't look too much into that. Us boys are always confident going into every game. Um, whoever it's against, um, we've got to worry about ourselves because where the one's playing, we've got to make stuff happen. Um, so no, looking forward to it. Nice one. And just looking at the rest of the season, seven games left as you mentioned, uh, and fingers crossed, two more in the county cup as well. How do you feel this team can go in the season? What, what are you hoping to achieve come come May? Well, I think everyone would like to get the playoffs um, and that's what we're striving to do in the changing room. Everybody wants that. We've been up there all season and that's where we want to go and that's what we want to be contending for. Um, and obviously Sussex Senior Cup, as you mentioned, we want to go win that this year after coming up short last year. So that's where we're at.